We started as this band of misfits and just through consistency and hard work, we've really developed into a team. We want to take ourselves you know, from the south side of Chicago and be world known. And he, he had the same passion that I had, to achieve something great in life. And these guys, they want to get to the UFC. This is the way we're doing it. I will come every single day and I will bust my ass and I will prove it to you that I want this. I'll never be scared. Blood sometimes makes people scared and, and now I've bled. I'll never be scared again. I'll never step backwards. Bo Samanego, he's fighting at the event right before me, CFFC 111. That's in uh, just south of Memphis, Tennessee in uh, Tunica, Mississippi. And he's actually fighting one of my previous opponents and the only one of my losses. He's fighting DeAndre Anderson. I'm fighting a guy that beat like one of my best friends. It's his only professional loss and I really look up to him, you know what I mean? In the MMA, he's taught me a lot. I just feel like to get this one, it would just do a lot for my career and just my confidence and it'd be, I'm sure it'd be good for him to, you know, see me beat him. It's a big one for me. I'm really excited. That's all I can really say about that. It's, yeah, it's got like a more of a, this one feels personal a little bit. You know what I mean? For me. I'm actually going to be able to be in his corner, so front and center for the fight. I, I really think that this is a chance not directly for me to right my wrongs, but for one of my teammates and, and someone who I train so closely with, and honestly my main training partner, to, to be able to right my wrongs and you know come into his own in, in the CFFC cage. But I have to just kind of exclude myself and just understand that it's not my fight, it's his, and I need to be there and kind of troop for him and make sure that, that I'm giving him that right advice. that that we're playing the game the way he needs to play the game. Because the way I would beat DeAndre Anderson, it's not the same fight in the same way that Bo Samanego is going to beat DeAndre Anderson. If somebody wants to do a little research, look at the, the people we've been fighting. Some of the biggest gyms, some of the biggest names, some of the biggest coaching staffs that we're competing against out there. We're going out there and beat them. And we don't say no. We just say, hey, where do you want to show up? And you know, we're on you know, all these Fight Pass shows and these guys, they want to get to the UFC. This is the way we're doing it. That's kind of what the, our, our job is like. That's why the UFC puts us on Fight Pass, because they want us to find the cream of the crop, the best talent out there who can fight in the UFC, and it's our job to, you know, to, to showcase them. They're the next guys that everyone's going to notice. Just look at Isaac Watkins. He fought a former world champion jiu-jitsu guy in his first pro fight. And then Chris Williams, he had three amateur fights. He's turned a pro on this next show. He's a three-time state champ, four-time finalist in the state of Illinois, Division I college wrestler, which is no joke. Just trying to make people take notice of what we're doing. And it's like, we're gonna do it you know, on live TV, you know, wherever we're, we're not you know, afraid to put it out there. I just feel like I put in a lot of work, like a good, uh, had a good training camp, like all these guys and Sean, Dan, they all helped me like get super prepared for the fight. And it was just, had a good performance, I feel like. And I'm just ready to kind of build off this one and then get right back in there, hopefully in November. Uh, I feel good, still got a lot to improve on, but I did a decent job at the end of the day. Yeah, my fight got canceled like five hours before my fight. And they said it was cause of a lung issue, but I don't like can stuff like that. I feel like, I feel like I feel like when you weigh in, it's official. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that was real devastating. It was depressing. Like it, it hurt real bad because you know I do all the work to get down there to the way it and just for no result really sucked. But you know I had to still be uh, strong for my team because it was my uh, guy Bo and Chris. They still had to fight. So when they fought and stuff, it made everything feel 100% better because just seeing my people shine and do what they do, you know, it made it all worth it. Like we still, you know, what I'm saying I know I helped them put in the work and stuff. So, you know, at the end of the day, the event was all worth it, but it was still, you know, devastating. I wasn't able to compete, but they made it worth it. We're in 400 square feet of just hard work, sweat, and um, grit, you know, because you have all those shiny, nice new toys, you didn't really have to work for them. Here, people love coming in here and leaving it all in here every day. 
knowing that they're not coming here to financially help somebody, and like I said, because boxing here is free, but they pay for it with their time and how hard they train. My next opponent, his name is Frank Wells, so this fight is for the title. He's really good at the leg kicks, but I actually almost got matched up with him at one point earlier in our careers. And uh, so I've always kind of seen him as a possibility and a peer. This could be Jose's last fight with CFFC because a lot of times if you win the CFFC belt, I mean, you just get, you get the call up either on a contender series or a short and fight to the UFC. He's been saying it from the beginning. The, the first day we sat down and plotted out his pro career, he's like, I'm in a hurry. I'm like, all right, let's go. He's looking great right now. He, he's been putting in the work for this fight and I could just see that his body's changing and his mindset is like super focused in on the fight right now. You just close your eyes when you wish to be free. You look up to the sky and call on me. Then the propeller in your sky, take away the gray. Turn the roof to a floor on a Saturday. Up your doll in the night, you do what I say. I'm just a getaway, I'm just your getaway. I'll make you warm if it's really and I probably make you say things you wouldn't do. The belt, how much do you think the belt costs? 300 bucks, something like that. But it, to us, it means so much more, you know what I mean? It means like everything to have that belt just like solidifies that, that you're just on the right path of being a, a, a good fighter. Just, just the title champion just means something to, you know, like we're, I feel like we come from a place where we were almost kind of counted out our whole life. Never really accomplished much, you know what I mean? So just to be the title of champion kind of verifies that like you did something with your life, you know what I mean? And, and that's only the beginning for him.